Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, do the go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click over here launch the game from here if that does not work again go to properties this time put a check on the box which says this box and then select windows 8 hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check still not working then this time select windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, and then launch the game. Now, still not working. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, then you can, in that case, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, and then select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to now if you're using any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the game folder select the game exe file click on open once it is done now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings in the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added now once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to verify the game files this is important so make a right click on the game select properties and go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's geforce experience so make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and this will be game ready driver and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download and once the download is complete, run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then go to graphics settings. Now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder. Once again, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now click on options, select high performance, now click on save and then launch the game. Next step is to install visual C++ file for this copy this link. The link is provided in the video description open the link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so run download the x86 file 
and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow now download x64 and again you have to run this exe file as well Now run x64 file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair, click on yes to allow, and then let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once both are installed, you will see a restart option, restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this, and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. This is important, so open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update in security, and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game. Now, now the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then Select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 4915152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have these devices connected, disconnected. Also, if you have extra controller connected, disconnected, disable overlay. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game and then select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, turn it off. Also close all the other overlay application. You can even turn off the overlay in Discord or turn off the overlay in GeForce, GeForce Experience or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Reverter, if you have any overclocking application, 
close it to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then go to system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this should be highlighted so make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel